We're calling this the heckle off for tickets to go to Club 10. It's happening on Friday, September 8th. It's at the uh, Imagination Park Fall Classic Golf Tournament. All right. And we're trying to raise money for Jack's Helping Hand, and they've given us a couple of tickets to hang out with us in this VIP tent where it's unlimited amounts of beer and food for three hours uh, for what, two to five o'clock, I think, is when it happens. And uh, all you have to do this morning is call in and heckle us. All right. We got a couple people on the line. We do have one spot open at 543 36. 93 and uh we got the first guy here ready to go go ahead man i'm doing fine fellas how about you All good right. you got 30 seconds okay you guys you call yourself disc jockeys man i'm not really too sure about that i'm thinking helen keller could probably come down here herself and do the whole show and get more audience and more members to listen to her than you guys could ever do and she could definitely out drink you guys that's for damn sure and everything and she got more jokes more style more class than you guys it sounds like you guys, the station might have come from a gutter or something. The way it sounds all the time, it's just blah, 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 blah. I can hardly understand either one of you guys. I just call in hoping I might win something, just get lucky. I barely hear the word call or something. It's just rah, 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 you guys, all the time and snickering and laughing at who knows what. I don't think no one gets what you guys are laughing at. If they did, then they're as bad as you are, worse than you guys are. That's your 30 seconds right there. Hey, good job. That wasn't, that wasn't bad out the gate. <laughs> I don't mean none of that. No, that's no. We want you to mean no. no that's, that's okay. Right. That's fine. As long as I you mean, can, I love you guys. As long as you can throw it out there, we don't care if you mean any of it because that's what we're looking for for Club Ten. That's exactly what. No, oh, no, no. Although I do I agree. Just want to win. I, I know I, you do. I, I love you guys. I do agree. Somebody sitting there going. <laughs> Might be mildly more more entertaining than us. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh my god, that is so funny. But he really wants to win, so then he starts kissing our ass. It sounds like you guys' station might have come from a gutter or something. The way it sounds all the time, it's just blah 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 blah. Is it me or does Robert not sound like uh, Pennsylvania from Orange Is the New Black? I don't watch the show. I don't feel like talking about snacks. Oh, you don't you don't watch the show? Okay, Pennsylvania is a (laughs) meth uh, head. Who, oh, God, uh, sorry, Robert. Uh, no, I'm just saying that, that, uh, that she's a meth head that ended up in prison because of, uh, I guess, meth-related uh, uh, incidents. But um, she, he had the same kind of drawl that Pennsylvania has. I was thinking more like Grover. Yeah, that's... I've been getting real presents from him now. Mm. Not pretty? You know, like on the commercial where the, the husband surprises the wife? Every kiss begins with K. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mel's on the line here. Uh, hey, Mel, what's uh, what, what? What? You got thirty seconds. Rip us. I want to rip you guys a new one because you didn't pick me. Uh, you didn't pick my macaroni and cheese, but you know I love both of you, Jeff and Jeremy. You are the best DJs on the radio. See, that's not going to work. Yeah, no, you, you that's not how you guy. heckle. We need somebody who can heckle these golfers, man. We need somebody who's going to yell yeah, insults. Mel, you're too nice. Talk about how fat they are, how uh, they walk like an old lady. I mean, listen, if you listen to this radio program, you know there's lots of ways that you could get you under, sucked. under both of our skins. Very easy from a heckle standpoint. Okay. I just, I, I, you know, you're too nice, Mel. I mean, no offense. I mean, hey, that, well, I don't, I, yeah, yeah. I, uh, that's um, a nice thing to, to, to have going on in your life. I mean, that, that you're, you're too nice, <laughs> but it's not going to work on the T box at the temple. But we're hall. giving you the opportunity to be mean. We right. Want, we want somebody right. who's going to seize that day for fun and, and, and drink and eat and, and be raucous and, and, and be asked not to ever come back again. That's the type of person that we're looking for. The sister Mel, is right, 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 right. To you, right. They, I'm not that mean, turns out. Right. To you, they'd say, they'd say, you know what, Mel? It was such a pleasure having you this time around. Do you want to come back and run our tournament next year because you were so nice? We don't want that. Hey, Mel, before you go, what was in your mac and cheese? What were the ingredients? I want to remember which one it was. The Chardonnay. Chardonnay mac and cheese and crab. Oh, the Chardonnay mac and cheese. It was a little dry. That was the only problem. You know, it was was just too dry. But it was really good. Yeah. If it wasn't dry, it would have been good. But you're not very good at macaroni and cheese. As a matter of fact, whoever told you to put Chardonnay macaroni cheese should punch you in the face. No, see, that's wrong. Whatever. That stuff was gnarly. I gave it to my friends. They loved it. What Jeremy's trying to do is give you an example of how this is supposed to be done. No, I hear you. I hear you. It's just early. Okay. No, no, it's fine. (laughs) Bye, Mel. (laughs) Okay. Bye, Felicia. We can do better than that. Uh, Nancy, I don't know. I just don't think women can heckle. 
You know any good heckle? I mean, it's so it's like few far in between when you run across a chick. And uh, Nancy, Roberts I mean to call pretty, you a chick. Roberts was pretty good for right out the gate. But, I, I'll say that. Uh, a uh, woman that, that's a real I, jerk. I think, I think a woman can, Listen, my wife does it on a daily basis. Your so. wife is one of the few far in between. <laughs> uh, Nancy, go ahead. You got 30 seconds. All right. So you guys also didn't pick my mac and cheese, which, by the way, was the pesto. And you're like, ew, green mac and cheese. That We have no class here at this radio station. So that's for starters. Secondly, you two both have a face for radio. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And you're talking about the future of boxing. One has to wonder about the future of the morning show radio guys with you two on board. Also, thank God radio's free or you guys would bankrupt that station. No one's paying to listen to you. You suck. You really should think about getting day jobs. And also, if you're playing this golf game, they better put up the big nuts for you two. That's it. Is up. Uh, uh, even that, the dogs heckling us in the background. That was pretty, right? <laughs> that was pretty good, Nancy. <laughs> that was not bad. That was pretty good. I got to say, I, I think that was pretty good. All right, hold on the line here, all right? 543-3693. It's a $200 value. We're giving this away right now. It's called Club 10. It's a VIP tent on the 10th hole at the Imagination Park Fall Classic Golf Tournament. This is at Monarch Dunes. You can be a part of this. Uh, link up at KZOZ.com. And this is a unique once-in-a-lifetime golf tournament experience from the standpoint that you get to yell in people's backswings. And you get to look them in the eyes while yelling at them during their backswing. Well, we provide you with unlimited amounts of beer and wine and food. Like, you could say things like, Jesus Christ, maybe you should get off the cart and walk the course. <laughs> <laughs> if you're fat at this if thing. If I hear you using that, by the way, I've copyrighted that, okay? All right, fine. I've learned a lot about copyright in the last uh, couple of days. <laughs> okay, you can't good. use that. All right. Uh, Nancy did a pretty good job. Uh, but so far, Robert, uh, Robert was the best. Uh, we're going to move on now. This is Perry. Perry, you got 30 seconds, and it starts now. Well, I got up this morning, and I had to take my morning constitutional. I said, I'm going to make a couple statues of my favorite DJs. So I went in there and started making statues, but I couldn't make the freaking heads, heads to hold, keep up. Besides that, I went down there and, you know, <laughs> after I got done, I decided to scratch, uh, you know, my Jeff and Jeremy. Uh -huh. And that was good. And KZZ was okay. Perry, I sorry, was, sorry. We you, did, you did fall a little yeah, flat on that one. That's, that's uh, that delivery wasn't quite the passion that we're looking for for the 10th tee at the Jack's Helping Hand uh, Golf Tournament. That means Dennis is next. Dennis, 30 seconds and go. Yeah, you know what? You guys ain't, ain't no uh, 805. You guys need to go back to Oregon, man. You guys can't. You know, take, your, take your show back there, man. It's all about Raider Nation here. We're from the Seattle area, which not is Oregon. Awesome, which is Washington awesome that you State. even said Oregon. Because that does, you know what? If there's going to be one thing that pisses me off is being accused of being. <laughs> take take, take uh, the I've show come, back home, man. Uh, I've coming, it's I've, all about the nation and 805 here, uh, man. Uh, if there's one Don't thing that pisses me off is when people say, say I'm from Don't Oregon. No, you're because done. Oregon is Washington light, okay? You're done. Thank uh, you for trying. God, that was terrible. Come on, man. We got three hours. Five four three thirty six ninety three. 3693 uh, We're going to... Should we leave the phones open? Okay, we'll take one more call. It's got to be better than that. I don't know. I think I think we may have our, our finalists for the day in, in Robert, Robert was and Nancy. Robert right out the gate. Okay, this is Robert. Okay, I like to call him the uh, male uh, Pensatucky because that's he sounds straight up Pensatucky. You guys, you call yourself disc jockeys, man. I'm not really too sure about that. I'm thinking Helen Keller could probably come down here herself and do the whole show and get more audience and more members to listen to her than you guys could ever do. And she could definitely outdrink you guys. That's for damn sure and everything. And she got more jokes. Right there when he goes, for that, and that's for damn sure and everything. That is like a taken right out of Pensatucky's mouth. I'm sure and everything. And she got more jokes, more style, more class. Than you guys. Brave. It sounds like you guys' station might have come from a gutter or something. The way it sounds all the time, it's just blah, blah, blah. So that's Robert, okay? All right. And then there was Nancy, who got a little personal. Have a face for radio? You should be ashamed of yourselves. And you're talking about the future of boxing? One has to wonder about the future of the morning show radio guys with you two on board. Also, thank God radio's free or you guys would bankrupt that station. No one's paying to listen to you. You suck. You really should think about getting day jobs. 
And also, if you're playing this golf game, they better put up the big nuts for you two. <laughs> I love the dog in the background. I can just hear the dog like, yeah, you suck. You he's suck. like, joint, he's egging her on. He's, he's like, egging her on. You go get him, Nancy. You go get him. So uh, is, it, is it male Pensatucky or uh, Nancy? Uh, five four three thirty six ninety three. Why don't we do a lightning pull, okay? Listeners decide who was more scathing. Was it Robert? Was it Nancy? All right. Let's, let's see. I, we still have people that want to heckle us. That's the problem. All right. But here's the thing. Um, we're if, doing this all week. We're doing it all week. So you'll have an opportunity to heckle us tomorrow. All right. But we need you to tell us, was it Robert or was it Nancy? Who, who was better at the jabs today? Are you there? See, they're gone. Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, Robert or Nancy? Hey, Nancy all day. Nancy all day. Nancy I saw all day. Some. All I right. Saw. And if you, if you want to heckle us again, we'll do this whole First thing again to tomorrow. First one to three. We'll right. win this one. All right, so Nancy's got one. Robert or Nancy? I'm going to say it was Nancy just because of the way she said, you suck, like the guy in uh, Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, jackass, right? That, that would be good. That would be good on a golf course. You suck, you jackass. Uh, five four three thirty six ninety three. Robert or Nancy? Dennis, yeah, all day, eight oh five. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. All right, so uh, we need one more vote. Robert or Nancy? Robert, for Ro- sure. Okay, Robert gets his first vote. First vote, he stays alive. Five four three thirty six ninety three. First one to three. Yeah, so we've got it, two for is, Nancy, one for Robert. Is it male, Pensatucky? You guys, that's for damn sure and everything. And she got more jokes, more style, more clap. You from guys. the grave. It sounds like you guys' station might have come from a gutter or something, that way it sounds all the time. Or is it Nancy? Also, thank God radio's free, or you guys would bankrupt that station. No one's paying to listen to you. You suck. <laughs> That's the you suck that they were talking about. Uh, we're just looking for the best heckler. All you have to say, was it Nancy or was it Robert? 543-3693. Uh, hi, good morning. Robert or Nancy? Robert. Robert has got Ooh, his second now, vote. And now, it now it's the rubber match. The rubber match. Is it Robert? Is it Nancy? It comes down to this kept person right here. Robert or Nancy? <laughs> Nancy all the way. Nancy, Nancy takes it. The estrogen is flying through the phone lines this morning. All right, so there you go. Nancy is a finalist, and she will move on to have a shot at winning this. Uh, every We're going to take a finalist every day, whoever the best heckler is, and then you'll get to decide oh, on the poll question over the course of the three-day weekend coming up who uh, will be in the heckle-off. Oh, cool. so and then to, one of those two people on will bring... Pole? Yeah, will come. And uh, Robert, uh, I, I, say, I say to you, sir, go back to the... <laughs> Blueprint or the cafeteria in the uh, penitentiary that you live in, and uh, rework your subtle jabs. Rework your game on the uh, insult front, and maybe uh, you were j- you came up just a little bit short today. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.